Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. My name is Wizzy, as you guys all know. Today guys, I'm bringing you guys a new series to my channel. It's just a very, very short series, but I'm going to make it anyway. And this series is going to be about Black Ops 3 uh, tips and also ways to improve your game in Black Ops 3. Basically, how to not be a noob in Black Ops 3 when you guys first play it. And this is for especially the eSports side of this. So... Just by me watching heaps of gameplay and all that sort of stuff, I've noticed a lot of things, especially in the esports mode, uh, things that can be improved on and things that can help you guys out that I'm going to explain for you guys today. So today, guys, we're going to be talking about the specialist abilities in general. So before I get into it, I'm just going to say uh, I've noticed there are specialists that are fun to use, like you guys know those ones like the all those really fun specialists that are one hit kills and all that and then there are specialists that are actually very very beneficial to your team for an example in uplink uh, you'll be able to have the ball guy running overdrive and it gives him such an advantage over everyone else on the map with the ball guy running overdrive he can easily get two points if people are chasing him he can just activate overdrive and just get those two points so easily by running on a wall so quickly or just getting over a wall or building really really fast compared to other people behind him so this is why your objective player should always be running overdrive uh, especially in an uplink game mode and to not use this ability would be kind of a mistake and will get your team into a very very big disadvantage as i said if you were playing an uplink game mode this would get you into a huge disadvantage like especially in uplink Maybe not some other game modes, but uplink in general. Overdrive is also a non-specialist. So I think the non-specialists are uh, probably the more beneficial way to go for your team because you're guaranteed to get something out of them. Uh, because say if you're using like the war machine guy and the specialist ability that that comes with and you get shot in the back and you don't even kill anyone with it and it takes so long to get it out, uh, you're not even benefiting your team with anything. You're just wasting a specialist and you're just wasting your death and in a capture the flag game mode that's a really really big cost to your team especially if the other team's really good and know what they're doing then you're going to get costed in a very very big way especially with another flag cap or maybe just lose the game for your team also another really really good one is reject uh this is also a non uh, non-lethal specialist uh, it can really benefit your team especially if you just die with the uplink ball you want to reject grab the ball and then go straight back uh, into the points and score two points for your team. So that's a really really awesome one as well So the specialists that are fun guys are the ones like the sky the bow and arrow guy and the annihilator the flamethrower All those sort of things that just insta kill people are too risky to use in an esports game mode or environment Compared to things which you are able to get to help out your team such as connect armor Rejack invincibility overdrive will really help you out uh, especially compared to those one-shot ones where you might just get shot in the back really easily and they also do put a lot of pressure on the enemy team when you use the non-specialist ones because you're really attacking the enemy team and they can be acquired very very easily another way a specialist can be used is say you wanted to push out the anchor and this is going to be a really big thing because it was big in black ops 2 say you wanted to push out the anchor you could use vision pulse your anchor could use vision pulse to see where the other anchor is, all the other enemy players are, and they can choose their right route to go and kill those people, so then they get spawns for their team, and that can then change the game and how the game is played from then on. So it's just a really good example of how non-lethals are gonna be really big in the esports environment. Uh, if you want to use those like kill hori specialists, then go and use them in pubs. Have some fun if you want to use those. But the non-lethals are the way to go, they're just so much more beneficial for your team in an esports environment. So anyway guys, that was episode 1. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think. I'm also going to be bringing episode 2 tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. And as always guys, this has been Wizzy. Make sure not to give, not to forget to give this video a massive thumbs up. Really appreciate it. Make sure to not miss out on the videos I posted yesterday. Make sure you go check them out. And as always guys, this has been Wizzy. Catch you guys in my next gameplay. Ladies, boys.